So congratulations, we have got a main event winner. We've done a deal according to ICM and our final three, Muaz Ghani, Daniel Lamberti and Nick Iyanu have made a deal. Nick walks away with the trophy. Nick, not your first MJPT main event trophy. Uh, tell us a bit about your tournament. Um, yeah, well, very difficult as usual. Um, yeah, of course, I had to get lucky and um, the usual suspects on the main table I made it as difficult as ever. <laughs> uh, not your first trophy, as we said, you've been following the Monster Jam Tour for quite a while. Is the main event the event to win or which is your favorite? Uh, personally, I prefer the high roller, but uh, main event's always good. Always good. <laughs> um, yeah, no, any event to win is good and an achievement for everybody who's won one of them. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us here in Boardwalk. Um, I know you followed us around to quite a few of our stops. How does Boardwalk rank on that list of stops for MJPT? I know it's one of the best. The, the hotel, the facilities, the service. I had the family down here. They took care of them. Uh, exceptional. And I'm being told to ask you about unicorns. Oh, the unicorns, yes. Well, I got given a lucky charm by my daughter and she called it a unicorn. It was a shell. And she said, if I keep rubbing this, I'll win the tournament. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the trophy to her. Yeah, I was going to say, I know your daughters are particularly fond of your trophy, so I'm sure they'll be happy to add another one to the mantle. Absolutely. <laughs> Great, Nick, thank you so much. And to everyone for watching at home, we are also going to chat to some of our other winners. Uh, next up is Daniel Lamberti. So Nick, thank you so much. And a round of applause for Nick, our main event winner. Okay, next up we have Daniel Lamberti, known as Lambo on the poker scene. Uh, Lambo, tell us a bit about your journey through the main event. Yeah, it was a great event, a real grind. I started day two with 11,000 chips on the feature table. Managed to build it up and look, come in in third place, so I'm very happy. No, I know you had to change your flights twice to make up for it. I'd say it's definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely worth uh, the, the cost of the flights. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us a bit about your overall experience here at Boardwalk. Did you guys enjoy the scenery? Yeah, I think this is one of the best stops on the poker tour. Um, the hotel, the facilities, you look outside and the beach is right there. Um, service, everything is great. And Monster Jam always uh, runs a very good tournament. The structures are great. You always feel like you, there's play, uh, which is important in, in poker. You don't want to get to the final table and it's all in or fold. You know, you want uh, people to be able to play properly because that's when it really counts. And, and that's what you guys do really well. So, yeah, I think that on behalf of poker players, we you know, also want to thank you guys for everything because you guys do a sterling job. Thank you so much, Lambo. And I think next up we're going to have Mark Joseph from Monster Jam Poker. <laughs> um, Mark, the last day of the tournament, tell us a bit about the overall experience here at Boardwalk. So firstly, I'd just like to thank uh, firstly all the people in Port Elizabeth for turning out for this event. Please give yourself a big round of applause, all the local people. It's just been... Absolutely amazing having you all out here. It's been so well supported. And then, of course, all our fans and people that travel from all over South Africa, people from Johannesburg, Cape Town, Durban, Bloemfontein, those are basically the four corners that have come and joined us. The people that drove up from Nasno, from Plettenberg Bay, and all around these areas, thank you so much for coming. And a huge congratulations to everybody who cashed in all the events, the winners of the High Roller, um, Rudolf Ferri, now, of course, uh, Nikki Anu who won this event, uh, and also the winners who won the Free Roll, the Six Max, and all the other tournaments. Uh, it's amazing for poker and we can't wait to grow the sport a little bit bigger in this country. That's right. We'll definitely be back at Boardwalk soon, I'm sure. I know we love it here and I hope they love having us here and the players in PE, as Mark said, have been wonderful. We've always had such a great reception here. Um, exciting things coming for Monster Jam? Absolutely. And before I speak about those things, I'd just like to thank the staff and uh, everybody here at the Boardwalk Casino in Port Elizabeth. They've all been absolutely amazing. They've really reached out to, to us and all our players and given them a fantastic stay and we can't wait to actually bring them back here next year. So just a big thank you and maybe a round of applause to everyone at the Boardwalk Casino for putting on a great show. And then going on to the next thing, I think our next stop is, uh, well I know our next stop is in Durban at KZN. Very, very anticipated stop at the Sabaya Casino and Hotel in Durban in Schlangerrocks. Um, 
the players in that region have been waiting for us for a long time. They've shown us that they've got numbers out at the Wild Coast, which is actually part of the Eastern Cape. They, they prepare to make that trip. And this, I think it's going to be an epic, epic turnout in Durban. And we hope that everybody in this room manages to make it out there and give themselves an opportunity to come and win one of our wonderful sought-after trophies. Great, thank you, Mark. As you mentioned, our next stop will be at Sabaya. You can get all of that information on our website, website that's mjpt.co.za, or you can contact the Monster Jam team as per usual, Facebook. Don't forget to catch us on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch, and you can get all the information there. And one final thing from me, I'm just doing a lot of thank yous. I'd just like to thank the Monster Jam team in particular, all the staff that work for us, all the staff that do the things behind the scenes. A special thank you to um, our dealers, a special thank you to Dave DeBeer, Dave Ralph, Sam, our tournament directors, and then the guys at the back, Backer House, the guys from Cardstream. They bring you all these wonderful pictures, the pictures that you see on TV. Um, our two videographers, Maka and Bongani, that just bring you all these awesome videos every day. Gary Allen uh, seems to be our new resident commentator. He's very well organized, very well received searched. Thank you so much, Gary, for all the hard work you've put in. And of course, my good friend, uh, Carl Marburg, I don't know if he's left or he had a flight, um, who, who puts a ton of effort into the back of Cardstream. And Caitlin, you and Roxy, thanks so much for all the hard work you guys do. It's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, this, this job is made easier by your work. Thank you, Mark. And thank you once again to everyone for joining us. We will see you guys in Sibaya. Uh, there is still some tournament action going on tonight. And Mark has one more thing. I just want to thank uh, my mate Doug and Edgar and Tanzana for all the nice donations this week. Myself and George Howard are very grateful for all the golf <laughs> that you've given us and all the dinners you've paid for. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. We will see you soon.